talk. So guys, just tune down, pillow talk. You already know. I'm getting comfortable, so you can ask me really uncomfortable questions. Fire away. Should men and women split the bill on the dates? Well, this is a, you know, this is a perennial conundrum for couples. Um, I would just uh, like to establish some, um, you know, general rules. I think uh, overall it is absolutely fine to go Dutch, um, to split it 50-50, uh, it's fine. Um, especially, I remember when I was a college student, um, I didn't have a lot of allowances. So, um, you know, being able to split it 50-50 with my then girlfriend uh, was actually one of the most, I don't know, comforting things uh, in that relationship. Uh, she was totally fine with it, and I think most girls are. So guys, you don't have to feel like you, you have to pay every single time. Um, and it's actually a, a very uh, financially uh, sustainable way to, you know, keep being in a relationship. You don't want to run out of money, right? Um, but then again, um, I also feel that personally, guys should always offer to pay. You guys don't need to pay every single time, but you guys should always offer. And that means you should always be, you know, financially capable of delivering that offer, which means you always need to have enough cash to cover the entire bill. Um, and I know it sounds kind of rough, but you know, men uh, naturally want to feel uh, like they're chivalrous. You know, it's more. And if they cannot, you know, pay for the entire meal or give, you know, a girl something nice, um, treat her to like a fancy dinner, then it's a huge blow to his ego. So sometimes girls letting us pay, uh, even though you, you know, are perfectly comfortable with sharing is one of the ways that you can kind of soothe our huge ego and um, it's actually one of the ways to uh, sustain a relationship is for each party to feel good about themselves you know so again it's perfectly fine to share but guys you should always offer to pay and i just saved your relationship